Uh, she's obviously very nervous because she's on camera. And uh, so, I. Yeah. Alright, let's do this. Welcome back. So, today I'm going to show you guys how to escalate on a girl. Um, I've got a hot piece of ass here, and uh, I've convinced her to try and do this video. Uh, but before we kick it off, I'm Dave, and this channel is dedicated to giving you no bullshit novel dating advice for the modern man. And I've got a free PDF in the description on how to overcome adversity. Roll the intro. So it just felt a little bit weird trying to leverage my relationship with a girl that I'm currently seeing for marketing purposes. Uh, so I cut it off there, obviously because, you know, we're very close, she agreed to try and make this escalation video. I saw this video go viral and I thought that if I was able to make this video uh, maybe go viral, then I would be able to promote my new book. By the way, my book has been completed. I put my head down and I smashed it out over the last two months. It is now completed and uh, it is being reviewed by Amazon and should be uh, live in the next three days. So my book... Uh, will be live, hopefully, as long as everything goes well in the next few days. But it felt a little bit weird, and I, uh, just, I thought, okay, instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to just give advice on how you uh, can do what I have done, which is uh, bring a girl and many girls into your life that are far above your sexual marketplace value. So for instance, me, I'm, I'm 40 years old, she's 21. She's f way above my sexual marketplace value. So uh, how would you go about bringing a girl like that into your life? One, you are going to have to focus on a specific type of girl that you are interested in, know what you want. And it might sound pretty obvious, know what you want. But if you are going to, for instance, just an example, if you uh, one day are out in the clubs or uh, you know, at a festival dancing with uh, Brazilian girls and you're dancing with them and you're making out with them and you know, getting you know, used to that culture, but you really want an Indian girl and you think, okay, well, I can play around with South American girls and, and have that open sort of sexual vibe, and then next week I'm going to meet myself a conservative Indian girl, as an example, just as an example, uh, that's not really going to work because you really should be embracing the uh, and immersing yourself in the Indian culture, getting used to, say, Indian girls and how they behave, how their culture is, uh, how conservative they are, and then eventually you will, uh, you'll be able to connect easier with her. But if you're... Uh, they trying to date multiples of girls from all different cultures but really you're after a conservative Indian girl what the goal is uh, what you want uh, you should focus on so for instance my um, I'm seeing a, a girl half my age who's a blonde Aussie girl uh, as an Aussie I understand the culture I understand how they behave I understand a lot about them and if I focus on that uh, eventually I will get the specific type of girl that I'm looking for and I think that's a very good tip second Online dating. Uh, if you are way down here, like I am, uh, 40 year old, disabled, a little bit pudgy, uh, older looking guy, um, the chances of a girl that's 21 swiping right on me on Tinder is little to zero, almost zero. It's pretty much zero. Uh, unless you want to catfish, it uh, doesn't really matter what type of boost or swipe right tactic you use, uh, it's not going to work. On, you can rule uh, online dating out. It only really works for guys who are targeting girls on their level or beneath them. That's how it works. Uh, the leverage is in the hands of the women on online dating. So forget about online dating unless you are traveling to a third world country and bringing uh, USD with you and a, an American passport. Uh, rule that out. Secondly, nightclubs. Uh, nightclubs, obviously, uh, girls that go, the specific type of girls that go, that go to nightclubs, generally are looking for guys that are above their sexual marketplace value. They're surrounded by a lot of uh, high-pressure men that have been drinking. They've got their artificial courage up. So therefore, they're more likely to choose a guy who is way above their own sexual marketplace value, someone that has a large social cir uh, circle, uh, network, uh, probably more career-minded, well-dressed, uh, has a bit of money. 
uh, tall. Height is very important in the nightclubs as well. So that's why when you uh, hear about guys that have success in the nightclubs, they're generally uh, above six foot tall. So I'm not going to rule nightclubs out entirely, but I'll dare say that the vast majority of your success will not come from a nightclub because if your lower sexual marketplace value uh, was to continuously enter the nightclub, it's not always going to work. Uh, you never know, you might get lucky. The only real way, in my opinion, is obviously through social circle or some sort of uh, networking, but if you're doing that already, you don't really need this type of video. And uh, in my opinion, uh, a strategy would be day game, cold approach during the day. And that's how I have had the most success meeting girls way above my sexual marketplace value, and that has been through cold approach. So that's, that's one uh, strategy, and as far as I'm concerned, uh, the only strategy uh, that you can meet and bring girls into your life that are way above your sexual marketplace value. Now, next, next tip is uh, you're going to have to embrace uh, rejection. So you're, you're targeting a specific uh, type of girl, cultural background, specific type of girl that you like, you know what you want, and she's way above your sexual marketplace value. You're going to have to get used to a lot of rejection. Get used to it. Embrace it. Uh, bring it into your life and get used to it. Uh, because the only way you're going to uh, get a girl uh, way above your level uh, is by embracing a lot of rejection from a lot of girls until you eventually hit the girl that you actually uh, actually accepts you <laughs> and chooses you because uh, the reality of the world out there is that uh, we can present ourselves to women uh, but they they pretty much choose they're, they're the choosers we present <laughs> and that's pretty much uh, how it works out there. Do your best to keep yourself in shape, uh, look after your appearance, look after your fashion, uh, uh, keep, uh, make sure that you are looking as good as you possibly can. Uh, in whatever situation you are in, if you're a little bit overweight, you're gonna have to lose some weight. If you're, um, you have a skin problem, make sure that you moisturize and you, you get that sorted. Uh, if your hair is a little bit messy, fix it. Uh, if your fashion is a little bit off, make sure that you go and buy some new clothes. Uh, you're going to have to do your best to look your best. And in unison with that, you're going to have to accept yourself and not be insecure when meeting girls way above your sexual marketplace value. You see, the intimidating part here is that a lot of you guys will be looking at girls that you are super attracted to and you just won't even speak to them because they're so damn intimidating and you know that you are way below their level. You're going to have to come to terms with the fact that they are way above you, yet you're going to have to get in there, accept yourself for who you are. Uh, you've done your best. You've, you've, you've fixed your hair, you've, you've uh, fixed your skin, you've tried to lose weight, you've hit the gym as best, you've done the best you can. And don't try not to, it's going to be very difficult, but try not to be insecure when meeting that type of girl who is so far above your level, it's going to be intimidating, it's going to be scary. Uh, but you're going to have to figure out a way to overcome that and get yourself and present yourself to the girls that you actually want. Uh, and they may be so far above your sexual marketplace value that it, it is scary and a little bit embarrassing because people around you might be judging you as well. They might think, well, what are you doing talking to this girl? <laughs> Who are you, uh, this unattractive person speaking to her? What, give, what makes you think, you know? You have to be a little bit delusional to get su success with the type of girls you want. So I think all of these tips are just basic surface level, uh, in a, like just your internal psychology here. Uh, what I've just given you is just the basics in, internally. And um, if, you, if you like this type of uh, advice, I have, uh, right now I have one space available over the next two months uh, to take on an online uh, Skype coaching student uh, and if you would like to take on some uh, tutorial with me 
Um, I am looking for one person. I've only got one space left for the next two months. Uh, I'm very busy and I've just completed my book so I've just freed up a little bit more space so I can uh, bring one more student on. Uh, my book will be uh, linked uh, either in the description or on the channel uh, as soon as that's been accepted by Amazon uh, and you'll be able to buy that book as well. Digital products coming out soon. Uh, my next video will be an infield and um, yeah so one student I've got space for one student and if you want to get in easy I've got a free PDF in the description that you can download right now uh, totally for free I'll have your email so that I'll be able to email you once this book is up and running and I'll be emailing you about that and if you're just looking for wings, I've got a Telegram group where you can join up to my Telegram group and uh, where we talk about these type of things. So, I'll see you guys in the next video.